Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get two of the secret melee weapons that you can get in this amazing game. The first of which is going to be the Ancient Tomahawk. Now we are really close to this particular weapons location. Let's go ahead and open up our map and show you exactly where we are going. We are going pretty much on the most northern part of this area of the map. Um, and if you zoom in on this area just up here and place a marker right about here in this little circle, that's where we're going to need to find this weapon. So let's go ahead and uh, just ride on up this way. Now, I have learned something new thanks to somebody in my streams. And you can actually get your horse to automatically run two locations so you go into the cinematic camera push forward and double tap the x button you can actually get your horse to run you to the waypoint that you set automatically as long as you are on the road now you're going to want to pay attention because bad things can still happen while in this mode but it does save your fingers a little bit of energy of having to smash x for like 15 hours a day it's kind of ridiculous but Absolutely love that this option is available and you get this nice cinematic camera. Now we are at the location for this particular weapon. So we're going to go ahead and stop. Now we're going to go right up to this here and you'll see okay. that there is something lodged in this right here. Now this was a target practice. Now you'll see here that there is this weapon lodged into here and we can actually pick this up. Now we have the Ancient Tomahawk. Pretty darn cool. We can go ahead and hold for details. There we go. A traditional native tomahawk with a striped bound shaft and polished sharp blade. Although uh, showing some signs of its age, this weapon has been well maintained by one of the locals. This melee weapon was found lodged in a broken wooden target overlooking Columet Ravine in the Grizzlies. Very cool. Now this is similar to the other weapon that we got, which is the, uh, right here, the Viking Hatchet. If you guys haven't gotten this weapon and you're wondering where it is, check out the video in the top right corner in the cards to figure out how to get this, as well as the Viking Helmet, which we are wearing in this video. But there is quite a few secret weapons to get in this game. Now we need to get one more, which is the hunting hatchet. And that's the last melee weapon that we haven't gotten in this game yet. Let's go ahead and test this thing out. That's actually a pretty tomahawk right here. Very nice. Now when you throw these, you actually can obviously pick them up. And every time you throw it, it'll basically appear on the map on your mini map as a little golden target. So just so you guys know, if you do throw it, you can recover it, as well as it's relatively easy to be able to find as well. Now we do have quite a bit of ways to get to the hunting ax, but you can see where we're going to put it. We need to go to Window Rock, and there's a little building right here that we need to get to. So we're gonna start traveling that way, and then uh, we'll bring you back once we're a little bit closer. So the hunting hatchet, once you get to this little building here on the map, you're going to actually want to go to the side of the building. So once we walk back here yep. with our horse, you can do it on foot too, you're going to see in this log right here, the hunting hatchet. Pretty straightforward, don't have to fight anybody, and it looks pretty darn cool too. Obviously, once again, we have something to read about this. So a rare hatchet with a long bearded axe bit that allows for greater control when planning or shaving wood. The melee weapon was found in a tree stump near Window Rock and the Grizzlies and appears to be fairly new. This hatchet can also be thrown. It's got quite a bit of melee damage to it, which is pretty nice. Now this is also throwable just like the previous weapon and um, you get to add it to your collectibles list. Look at that thing. Thing looks like a beast. Chow! Oh god, I didn't mean to pull out the gun too. Jesus. Seemed to have pissed off the horse there a little bit. 
Calm down there, buddy. Oh, don't shoot your, don't shoot the horse. Oh my goodness. Now there's one more thing that we're going to want to get while we're in this particular area. And that is a rare special hat, the Nevada hat. Now to get the Nevada hat, we're going to have to get to the train tracks just above where we are. So we're still at Window Rock. We're going to go to this little train track overpass that goes over the river here and we'll be able to get it there. Now, once you get to this little overpass, you'll see a waterfall and we actually need to get behind that waterfall. So there's a way you can drop down right over there and then you can also try and get to it from this side over here. Now, we're going to go ahead and do this on foot because, quite frankly, I don't want horse face number two to die. We're also going to save just in case I somehow manage to fall down and I highly recommend you doing that as well. Don't bring the horse down there. Horses die pretty easily in this game, and I don't want you to lose your horse. I'd feel really bad about that. Let's go ahead and check out this little area and get our hat. I'm actually going to be kind of sad to let go of our Viking helmet, but it does kind of look a little weird in this, I don't know, in the Wild West. People keep looking at me weird and mentioning it, so... um. I feel like it might be time to use something a little bit different. But you'll see there is the hat, and there's also... Oh, no, there isn't. Okay. All right. So I thought there was going to be something else that we could get over here, but clearly I was mistaken. But this is what we came here for, and we can swap for it. I really don't think we should swap for it. I, I want to make sure we keep this. Um, There we go. Flying fish. That's what I was looking for. Apparently, uh, that's a thing. It's a perfect sockeye salmon. Oh, there's all sorts of fish everywhere. They keep falling off the waterfall. There we go. I didn't see them when we first got here, but you'll be able to easily grab some fish that are just falling down the waterfall here. Stick them into your pocket and just uh, go on your way. You can use this for bait. You can feed your camp with it. It's pretty darn cool. Look at this poor little fishy here. It's just, I just heard a little flop. and I was like, oh, there's the fishes. I always like to make doubly sure that I'm not swapping out anything because you can actually lose these special items and never be able to get them again. So I didn't want to lose our Viking helmet there, but we can go ahead and swap this out. Let's see if we actually leave the hat behind. Yes, we do. And that's why I put that behind. But now there's also a letter under here. So let's check out what this has to say. A note from Robert somebody, right? A note from Robert Elliot Patchen, an actor's suicide note. Oh boy. Okay. Let's we'll see what we got here. To he who finds this, I am told by those who attend my shows, applauding mightily, throwing flowers upon the stage when I perform in San Francisco or Chicago, St. Dennis or New York, that I should be the happiest, gayest person alive. That when the curtain closes and the roar of applause engulfs, and we walk back out on stage for a bow, I should be basking in the adulation. Instead, I am riddled with despair. I need to be inebriated on wine or numb from laudanum, laudanum to relish and recapture the exhilarations. I had as a child, make no doubt, near dear reader, that I grinned with delight upon seeing that I was featured on a card for Millicent's cigarettes. The stars of the stage. Indeed, I do find it queer that my card was listed after Jim Cobb, who I dare say has not sold out theaters in New York to my level, which is for certain. But purchasing a packet of cigarettes and seeing my face inside did bring me joy, if briefly. I had to purchase a fair number to achieve this event, but it did finally bring delight. Though these moments are few and far between. Looking in the mirror at the gray receding hairline, being called upon to play roles of fathers and old men rather than the dashing hero, the romantic lead, I can suffer these indignities no longer. I'm a lover, a poet, not a grandfather, a gardener. Someone said that to ensure success in this life, all you need is ignorance and confidence. I am anything but an ignorant fool, and my confidence in all things, letters, and love fades and grows flaccid as each season passes. I simply cannot endure the facade, the facade of enjoying this and the company of any of you one moment longer. I apologize for everything, 
Robert Elliot Patchen. So, oh wow, there's there's more here. Interesting. Oh no, that was just the back of it. Okay. Anyways, pretty cool, and I love all these little details that we can get. You know, just finding a hat and just finding the story about this guy who committed suicide. I don't know. It's it's pretty interesting. Rockstar Games has really outdone themselves on creating such an insanely immersive game. And I apologize for my lackluster reading skills there. Um, I've been up for literally almost over 24, almost 30 hours recording and playing as much of this game as I possibly could to bring you guys the best and, you know, most effective content that I can. But I hope you guys all enjoyed it. We got three secret items today. And um, if you haven't gotten the Viking uh, weapon and helmet, as well as some of the other things like the pump action shotgun and the rare and super duper secret Skullfield revolver, then make sure to check out my playlist for all the weapons that you can get in Red Dead Redemption 2. But I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to show your support and fondle that like button. I'm going to go get some sleep so I don't die, and I will see you all in the next one.